Hey guys, iDeviceHelp here and welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about iOS 13.2 Developer Beta 1. Apple has just released this software a little over two days ago. And as I usually like to do in these videos, I like to share with you guys some additional new features and changes after using the software for several days. You can also anticipate an additional follow-up video where I talk about the battery, the performance, the bugs, and anything else after using the software for approximately a week. So make sure to subscribe because more content is coming on iOS 13.2 there's quite a bit to talk about on this follow-up video I like to talk about some new settings some new features coming to the camera application called deep fusion which I did take a few pictures using and I wanted to share my experience and my thoughts on that there's also some settings in iOS 13.2 that are somewhat misleading and I'll get to that here in a few seconds but let's go ahead and take a look at iOS 13.2 now starting with a research if you go to settings and you head on over to the privacy tab you'll find a new research tab and as you can see here here, this application or this section here will allow you to monitor your privacy data if you participate on any research or study conducted on the iPhone now these studies will be conducted through third-party applications so for example any heart studies that you may want to participate upon here's where you'll find some of that privacy and data information on your iPhone I think this is great Apple is pushing a lot of these research and studies directly on iPhone there's millions of iPhones across the world and this will just make it a a lot better for everyone across the world so everyone can participate there'll be a lot of data provided and uh, maybe even potentially save lives because research of course uh, helps save lives so research a new tab for privacy and privacy information for research coming to the iPhone here with 13.2 now I've also noticed some changes to the audio sharing feature in iOS 13.2 so when you go to pair a second pair of airpods for example you now have animations when audio sharing to another Bluetooth device now for those of you that do not know no audio sharing allows you to connect multiple Bluetooth devices and share the audio with multiple devices at the same time so if you're watching a movie or a TV show and some friend or someone comes over and wants to watch the same content you can share the audio with their Bluetooth device or Bluetooth headset and you both can control the audio individually so there's a new UI for sure this is a screen capture when I went to connect a second pair of AirPods while listening to music as you can see here I connected this second pair of AirPods I went to audio share and when I pair them you see there's a new animation for the actual UI so really cool UI changes here I like them a lot now one thing I did find misleading in iOS 13.2 is 3d touch plus haptic touch now on the iPhone 11 there's a haptic touch display unlike previous iPhones where there's a 3d touch display the iPhone 10 max here on the right has a 3d touch display which is pressure sensitive it is physically pressure sensitive unlike the iPhone 11's display which is and haptic touch display which mimics 3d touch with a long press now if we go to Apple's website here and compare the iPhone 10s max versus the iPhone 11 Pro we go to display options we see that Apple indicates that the previous iPhone the 10s max has a 3d touch display and the brand new iPhone 11 has the haptic touch display if we go to settings and we go to accessibilities and then we go to touch right here we find 3d and haptic touch which is a bit misleading I don't think 3d touch is Present on the iPhone 11 Apple made no mention of that and the description of the setting actually says when 3d touch is on you can press on the display using different degrees of pressure to reveal content previews actions and contextual menus so this is the same description found on an iPhone uh, 10 max here which is a 3d touch display device and uh, it's just a bit misleading hopefully Apple will change the description or give us some more information about that option now another feature worth mentioning mentioning is the announce messages with Siri using the AirPods now this feature I've read across some of the forums here and uh, it looks like some users did get the feature in settings and Siri in search however for whatever reason I've been pairing these second generation AirPods I've tried different pairs of AirPods and I cannot get the feature to be enabled on my particular device but some users are reporting that announce messages with Siri is definitely enabled on iOS 13.2 beta 1 of course this is the feature that allows the airpods to read an incoming uh, text message for you and allows you to reply as well now lastly I want to talk about the deep fusion setting coming to iOS 13 now this setting has to be the most confusing out of every camera setting I've tried so far on the iPhone I took an image right here just to demonstrate how it works on the left you see the smart HDR on the right we see the deep fusion image now right here physically on the iPhone let me show you this is 
the uh, smart HDR image right here. And on the other side right here, we have the deep fusion image here. Now, the idea behind this feature is to smoothen out skin tones, skin colors, uh, bring the true colors to the skin, to textures like clothing and hair, and it makes the pictures look very, very beautiful. Apple has a few examples on their website, and it's a really nice feature. However, there's a few things I do not like about the feature. Number one, there's no tags. So for example, when you take a live photo on an iPhone, there's a tag a portrait mode photo there's a tag and uh, the actual uh, deep fusion photos do not have tags or actual settings to enable so that you know that you're using this technology to take the image the iPhone will do it automatically and the way it works is is on low to mid low lighting right so if you have really intense light smart HDR will kick in if you have a low to mid low lighting that's where the deep fusion lies and then if you have low lighting of course the actual night mode will automatically automatically turned on and I would love to see the deep fusion have a setting where you can turn it off just like you can with a night mode here and also see tags on these images so that you know that you've used the technology on your iPhone another thing I would love to see is this feature come to portrait mode it makes a ton of sense because we have the natural lighting studio lighting stage lighting and all these other settings here that would be awesome to have the deep fusion settings integrated within portrait mode as well I've tried portrait mode and I tried diffusion with it but it wasn't working properly it only worked in photos and only automatically so that is everything that i wanted to share with you guys so far with ios 13.2 let me know your thoughts in those comments down below so far about this software and as i mentioned in the upcoming days you'll have my long-term follow-up there i talk about the bugs any issues within the software additional settings and options that i may come across and of course battery life and performance so be sure to subscribe for that thank you for watching today's video guys and i'll see you on the next one peace